Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. This is the Lotus Reiki Healer, aka Forever Coco Chanel. And today I will be doing a month by month prediction for 2021, where we will be reading the energies as well as um, any advice from spirit and your higher self. I do also include angel messages um, through music um, that has been channeled. And all of those things will be in the description below. Feel free to meditate and pause this video to gravitate to your pile. Leave and a comment, like, and subscribe if you feel called to do so. I do appreciate feedback and I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile two. If you chose the orange calcite, this is your reading. Okay, so I am going to pull your cards here. All right, for January, let's talk about it. Okay, so for January, you have a tower moment and you have a time of reflection. And you have a time where I feel like you're in your head. This may be with uh, negative self-talk. Um, and I feel like if you're anything like me, I feel like you may have learned lessons and be coming out of a place where certain beliefs or limiting beliefs are still present. And you are in a time of reflection and meditation to change that okay um is there another way maybe something is happened in the past most recently that made you have to change your perspective and your approach to things and or uh shook a foundation to something you once believed and you um you know maybe you even went through this but you are coming into a place of more calmness more um mental stability and you are, um, you know, reflecting on how you can uh, think of or maybe come to the situation at a calmer approach. That's what I'm seeing for January. And maybe something happened previous or is going to happen that puts you or encourages you to have a different mindset um, going into things. Um, right. Okay, give me one moment. I feel like before we move to February, this here says, I sail through life on calm, nurturing waters. I am at peace with myself and the world around me. Um, this is release anger and increase harmony, reduce inflammation, improve inner knowing and calm, increase mental clarity and emotional balance. And what the four of... Um, swords talks about is someone who comes out of a battle out of a um a situation where they like okay this is someone who comes from a battle where back in the day someone explained it to me like this so back in the day um when someone went into war their their um casket and their tomb was already prepared for them you know, just in case they did die. And what would happen if someone made it back is that they would come back, they would reflect, and they would lay on that casket and, yeah, just kind of go over the, uh, us, you know, just accepting the new knowledge that they know. Um, and with this, I'm feeling like instead of, as a word of advice, instead of maybe being in mental turmoil, this can be something where you choose to release anger and increase harmony and uh, improve your inner knowing and calm because this person is very calm. Uh, like we said, the number four as well as the four of swords is a uh, very clear, stable um, and balance, emotional balance. So that's what I feel like is being encouraged of you there. So that was for January of 2021. Okay, so for February 2021, yes, you are going within yourself and mentally, because we got swords there. Swords talks about mental uh, activity. Um, so the swords, you're moving forward uh, with the wisdom that you gained 
right? You're moving forward to calmer waters. You're maybe, uh, maybe you're physically moving and or you're uh, taking, because this person has people with them, you're taking, you know, maybe you left people behind and these are the people that you're taking. So maybe you had to um, kind of make that change within your mind. It does look like you are coming into some really divine information or divine knowledge that is going to help you during your soul searching and or you're, t you're on the right path. This is what that is. This combination is feeling like is that you are on the right path. Um, I want to get some confirmation from the Oracle, um, the written Oracle that I created. So this says all is well. So it does. It kind of confirms to me that you are on the right path. So far, this group has had the most Oracle messages. If you notice, I just want to take a, a little more of a moment to go through that. If you are actually moving, this is a leap of faith that you're taking. And again, all is well. This situation will improve based on your actions and the choices that you're making. Your situation is improving. I am at the right place at the right time with the right people. Exactly. So I feel like um, what we saw in the February month is like you, like I mentioned, you might feel as if some people can't journey with you. Um, maybe that's what that January or the previous year, you know, in December of 2020, maybe that's understandings that you're now incorporating into your uh, life. I see five, five on the clock. There's definitely changes here. And that just confirms to me, like I mentioned, that there is people, places and things that you are leaving, but you are, spirit wants you to know that you are on the right path. You are uh, in the right place at the right time with the right people. And if affirmations is something that you do, then that is something that you can, um, you can, um, take with you. Um, uh, I'm seeing boundaries and meditate. So I feel like meditation is definitely going to help you during this time in February or period in your lifestyle, um, to be able to, uh, increase mental clarity and emotional balance. Okay. You may even be able to release some anger, uh, if something does or has caused you to feel anger, um, you know, and you're seeking to be, um, you know, I feel like maybe you put in some, you set some boundaries with some people, um, places and things, and, um, you are doing the right thing. However, in times of distress and in order to prevent distress, meditating is going to be, um, something that you should do. All right, let's talk about March. So I'm seeing here that you are Queen of Wands. That's how you're going to be showing up and embodying the energies of the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is creative. The Queen of Wands is bold. Uh, the Queen of Wands is beautiful and appealing to the eye. Going to just take some a look. There is inspiration. Yes, uh, this person acts out on their inspirations. Maybe you have uh, some vision, some visual, like some projects uh, that you want to take on. And um, before we move to the Ten of Wands, I see here uh, an affirmation here or a, um, a, sorry, these are crystal oracle cards. And this is saying to me, or to you, how to, creativity flows through me in myriad ways. I courageously bring my ideas into actuality. And I feel like that is going to touch on the seven of, sword, of cups and the 10 of wands. This says, I courageously bring my ideas into actuality. While you are courageously moving, I feel like this person could also feel burdened, right? And um, I've said it in pile one. I've said that when you are seeing your visualizations, one more thing that you can add on to or while you are accomplishing, you know, your goals, the way that you look at, sorry about that, 
the way that you look at your goals or the way you look at the process makes all the difference. So I am encouraging you to look at your path, your journey as a um, easy thing and look at it as, um, you know, all this creativity is flowing to you and you are um, accomplishing your goals with ease. Uh, another thing that the Ten of Wands kind of calls for is for advice is that um, maybe you can put one or two things down. Maybe you can delegate it to someone else, okay? Maybe there are people around you who want to help. So um, if you do have things going on that you can delegate, feel free to do so. Um, the advice here says activate the creative mind, finalize projects, realize unlimited potential, improve visualization skills, stimulate the courage to fulfill life purpose and potential. So yes, yeah, so the queen of, um, of wands is full of, um, give me a second of purpose, full of potential, right? And that's exactly what you are seeing. That's exactly what you are tapping into is the, you know, creative things that you want to do that's coming to you intuition wise. If not, say you are, you know, still in the reflecting mode. Sorry. Say you're still in the reflecting mode from um, February. This is saying, hey, activate stimulate the courage, um, and realize the unlimited potential. So there is a lot of potential around you. I am seeing that there is, um, with the seven of cups, I also have assigned that to me and that there are things going on in the background of your life that you may not be able to see, you know, divine orchestration. And I say that to say that there may be things that in your life you're waiting for or you are hoping for that you don't necessarily have in the present and you shall still move um you should still move and know that you have to meet the universe halfway i'm seeing here what lights you up find what lights you up ask this ask spirit you know what is my calling what is my life purpose how can i fulfill that now and you're already doing it okay so Give yourself a break if you're one of those that are extra hard on yourself um, because you are already doing it. I just saw 1138 on the time and that um, numerology is 1111. So um, really uh, manifest this because it is yours to have, okay? So I'm seeing here, let your personality shine, okay? So say you're supposed to, or you have urges to be in the spotlight. That's something that you should not shy away from. And, or if that's something that you're already doing, keep doing that. Um, I'm seeing, I am confident and courageous. And that is what the queen of wands is. She's very confident, okay? Yellow is a very, very joyful, enthusiastic, courageous type of energy. Um, so own that, okay? And if you're already doing it like we see that you are, own that, okay? And keep it going. All right, so, and I, I say that because I've, okay, let's go there. So, Ma, um, April, January, February, March, April. So, for April, I'm seeing that you are headed to the bag. You know, you might even be re reaping the rewards, excuse me. You may even be reaping the rewards of what your projects have been, what your creative ideas have become, okay? And I'm seeing that you are absolutely satisfied and that there is opportunity that is here for satisfaction, okay? I feel like you're coming into a new way of being. Um, there is a, a rebirth here of maybe some personalities. Like I mentioned, let your personality shine. You might be even coming into a place where, oh, I am creative. I am nurturing. I do love planting for some. Um, what else? You might be a mother and that might be, or maybe you're having a baby, some type of, you know, rebirth or a birth period. 
Um, but maybe there's a call on your soul that you have already been fulfilling and or you feel is happening and you have opportunities coming in from all over and um, there's real opportunity here to be, I see that you might be even looking at the opportunities, uh, in, analyzing what might be best for you and um, here, like I was mentioning before, I feel like you're more so in the process of this because there is um, conflict maybe of your mind, okay? Uh, maybe there is some uh, negative self-talk that you're giving yourself, okay? Um, maybe even people being obsessed, I feel. Maybe you got some obsessions going on that's holding you down. Like maybe you are feeling, um, what else? What else? Right. So, okay. Another thing I feel like maybe there's like some type of connection that's happening between you and some other people that is toxic or ha has the capability to be toxic because there's nothing but good things happening here. Beautiful flourishing types of things, right? Um, promises and or insinuations of renewal and rebirths, but it's at the beginning stage, right? So maybe because it's not moving fast enough or, um, you know, maybe instead of living in the now, you are having mental conflict because something's not coming together the way you want it to. Um, and I'm just seeing that the, the having negative self-talk, having negative kind of, um, Feeding the negative um, aspects of something, right? Whether that's obsessions, whether you're obsessing about something um, or whatever it is. Um, something I heard would have you. <laughs> that might be something for anyone here. But I feel like that is going to have a negative effect. So let's keep and choose to see the opportunities, right? That are currently around you. I have, um, <clears throat> that's for April. I have, it says, I am grateful for the blessings in my life. Okay. Um, I feel like, for, right. I see that someone is saying, I want to move on from this. Okay. I see someone else saying, I am coming for you. Okay enjoy joy and that's what that queen of wands energy is this person is enjoying joy which means enjoying the uh presence of of um the presence of blessings or the presence of happiness and joy right here right now i am confident courageous okay so yes yeah, so don't live too far in the future enjoy and seek the beauty in the blessings that you have right now and um, allow the opportunities, the opportunities that you want to happen to manifest themselves and visualize them. Feel how, feel the emotions and the energies of how it would feel if it was here, but don't associate the visualizations with a negative emotion that it's not here currently, okay? Because you would manifest this energy, what's coming or what's here, you know, or this is the, all right. So this is for the month of May. So the month of May, you have your, okay. I feel like you may have experienced some disillusionment. Sorry, you guys. Wow. And I keep poking myself in the eye. Hold on. You good. I'm good. I'm good. I feel like this year for pile two with the yellow stone is an enlightenment year okay so i feel like with the energy from may is that there is some disillusionment disillusionment and i feel like there is some clarity on some emotional things like you might feel maybe even if you're a man, then you do, you have experienced some heartbreak or some type of truth and disillusionment. Like there looks like there was some, maybe you even felt uh, betrayed by something. And I'm feeling like, cause there's a lot of sores here. Wow. So maybe you are an air sign if you chose this pile. Um, and or experiencing 
heartache from the things that are going on in your mind, okay? Which is causing you to if you if your business is knowledge, then great, you know? You're it's you're in your power. But um I feel like this might be some um queen of swords energy, right? Where someone is you know, not necessarily just cutting through the BS, but it's just a hard ass. Like this is giving me some real stone wall energy. And I'm feeling like, um, one moment. I'm feeling like this is all mental energy that is changing your emotions. And, um, the 10 of swords kind of indicates that you've made it through the third you know the third um level of that experience and you are coming out of it being a ten of swords you've already kind of gone through the motions and the ten speaks about completions so you might even be feeling like okay it can't get any worse than this um i'm going to learn the things that I've learned, take the things that I've learned with me, and I'm going to move accordingly. Um, I'm seeing here, it says, I am smart. This is the fluorite stone. The It says, I am smart, and you can work with it if uh, you feel called to. And this is for the month of May. It says, I am smart. I am open to learning something new. I am organized. Clear thinking. Release mind chatter. Maintain courage and self-confidence. Recognize your own intelligence ease with problem solving. So there may have even been some problems that, you know, have figured themselves out and the outcome was not necessarily um, ideal in this very moment. However, this is saying, I am smart. I am open to learning something new. Um, I feel like that the road that's being paid for, paved for you is working out for you and may and not to you however you have to see it that way because this says mental chatter release mental chatter like i said these are disillusionments okay these are you know um the swords talks about mental energy so i feel like um a good exercise like we mentioned before is going to be meditating and quieting your mind because you i'm telling you not to allow your mind to um you know tell you lies and or to change your mood okay allow your um mental your mental activity to be observed but not absorbed okay um feel joy because i feel like with the yellow stone there is joy available to you um this is the yellow calcite and we will look into what the yellow calcite speaks about but um i'm being told and or i'm feeling that um you are in a better situation than you are in but you feel like you're in so feel that and own that um and let spirit work out everything else because i'm also seeing it says keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you so you're not alone you are being guided you are being divinely guided through your your um life path or your journey it's saying you're already doing it stop overthinking it keep facing your north it's not to say that things won't come and shake you out there's it's not to say that you don't have life lessons and awakenings to experience during your time but it's saying to stop overthinking it at all costs be courage courageous have self-confidence and keep following your true north because you're already doing it so good job all right exactly here so we're in june and you see this yellow and this almost looks the exact same it blends doesn't it and um i'm feeling like you're learning to tame your beast and or you are feeling much better in the month of june um there's opportunities coming here okay there is divine orchestration in the background in your life so i feel like you may even actually receive some type of financial um benefits here you might actually receive some type of uh blessing out of nowhere i have here sorry about that right i said okay i'll bring that back up sorry 
blessings are coming blessings are coming okay so for the month of may we'll hold on to i am divinely protected i'm divinely guided i'm divinely protected you have spiritual uh warriors or spiritual helpers who are on your side um i did also see 230 or yes 23 45 so i'm gonna write that down and have that in the description below of what that um affirm or you know that angel number means for you okay 23 45 nice we saw 11 11 so don't forget that but anyway so i'm seeing that blessings are coming so in the month of june i'm feeling like you may have tamed your inner beast which is amazing you may even be practicing self-love or in touch with your heart space and um spirit is seeing these things you um give me a moment infinity i feel like you may have come through a awakening at this point so say you were going through an awakening now you're able to apply it now you're able to thrive from it and create um from your heart space these things um i feel like this is definitely some nurturing of yourself and or the angels you feel supported you feel guided you feel um you know blessed you feel that you are heard and seen by the divine in the month of june and i'm seeing that that is definitely the case i see that blessings are coming so um and divinely protected you are divinely protected so i feel like you are feeling good you know being creative being loving and maybe even loving yourself so maybe the people around you maybe there's some type of reason to celebrate and people around you are comforting you externally and that is making you feel good i see here it says um this rose is a rose court crystal oracle message it says i allow love and open my heart to attention affection and my romantic partner a act sorry Attract your soulmate, increase feelings of comfort and acceptance, amplify unconditional love, cultivate good friends, family, and work relationships. So yeah, so the Queen of Cups, she is a very heart space person or energy. And I feel like maybe love is something that you're interested in and or you're in a relationship and things are um, smoothing out. I feel like if you are single that you are interested in someone whether you know them or not maybe you are just um wanting to have love around you there is an affirmation um that i practice it says i attract nurturing people so it allows for that person you know and that's a seven of cups energy is that you're putting your intentions out there and that is what you're attracting and um in june i'm seeing that you are going to be maybe focused on coming from your heart space and you know working with spirit i see here um connects with spirit it says my mind my spirit and my body are connected with the divine or with each other and the divine my mind and spirit are connected with each other in the divine. So, you know, you might be even energetically reaching out to spirit and or connecting with spirit um, or connecting to your heart space, right? Say you were all over the place in your heart space. You have now decided to tame that beast, tame those mental chatters and say, divine, this is what I want. Okay, 2028 20, on the clock. So let's write that down. And that sounds romantic. It could be 1010, 10, but I'm sure 28, 28 says something too. 1010 10 is completion. So you, it does, it feels like there are some cycles that you are having to go through. Uh, your true north is having to go through so that you can get there. Like, so you can get to your true north. Okay. So in the month of July. So I'm being drawn to the seven because it's the seventh month. Um, give me a moment. 
okay so i feel as if there is some truce coming from someone who you might be romantically involved with um or some actualizations that you are being given by spirit some downloads that you are being given by spirit because you are in your heart space because you have been connecting with spirit um so there might be some information that comes out uh that has been attempting to be kept um and i see that there is an apology coming in possibly maybe a love offer maybe more than one love offer maybe someone who's coming in uh with emotion and another person who's coming in steamy and hot and you know maybe uh someone who's been able to watch from a distance you know whether that's social media or um um something like that but i'm seeing that you have suitors coming in maybe this is one person coming in and this person has a, a like an offer of love but it's not going to be a well-developed offer or a well thought out offer it does look like this person um may be immature versus the queen of wands the queen of um cups that we've seen i'm seeing that you might have offers that are coming around uh and you are maybe keeping to yourself maybe you are sneaky linking you know i'm not mad at you <laughs> um what else you might get some new truths about these people whether they know it or not so the seven of swords as advice talks about maybe keeping information to yourself right so maybe something happens around this energy around these people um and or you're seeing opportunities like this fish coming out of this cup and you are maybe going forward with them towards like projects and different ideas that you want to fulfill. And maybe you're emotionally excited uh, because the waters are pretty rock or like, you know, there's waves back there. So maybe you're feeling excited about some new inspiration that you have been given from the divine. Um, and you want to move forward with those uh, ideas. I'm being shown here to keep it to yourself. You know, maybe take action for sure. Take action for sure. However, move in silence is what I'm feeling like. Take this sword and run with it, okay? But keep it to yourself. Let's see if there's anything that confirms that here. What lights you up? So I feel like that Ace of Swords is a new invention, a new formula, a new project that is lighting you up. Um, and like I said, I definitely feel like it is going to be necessary to keep that information to yourself anything anything it says i courageously i courageously bring my ideas into actuality so i want to say this say you you came from a place where you needed validation you needed someone to stroke your back and let you know that you can do it um i feel like you know maybe you've already learned that th your true north doesn't need those things so say you're coming from a place once you have once you like say you're coming from a place once you do have this inspiration where you feel the need to tell people i'm feeling like write it down journalize it but um maybe even connect to the divine with it but and meditate for sure but um just keep your your moves in silent because the seven of swords talks about that i mean it could be a deceptive energy Okay, so maybe there's some truth coming out from someone who was deceptive, okay? And that person is being apologetic about it and maybe even sharing emotions. But again, if that's the case, you're coming up as a queen and I would recommend that you stay focused. I saw 333 or 3333, um, which came up in the pile ones. So you may have a message there, but I'm feeling like you should still keep your crown, whether you're a male or a female, because you are the one that's coming across as a mature energy whereas the uh offers that are coming in are from people who are not that mature or not that developed i see spiritual growth is required for them allow them that allow yourself that allow yourself to continue to grow the way that you are because we did see the hermit um and we saw the um 
hierophant, which means that they're working together for your spiritual growth. This person does look like they need spiritual growth. But continue to face your true north because you're attracting your soulmate. So, the um, month of August is coming in. And let's say you are following your true north and you're keeping it classy. You're keeping it cool. You're cutting through BS. You're not allowing, you know, maybe you accepted that person's apology, but you were like, okay, but I'm going to keep doing me. I feel like this person may feel out in the cold. Maybe they are experiencing financial issues and, or they are just, uh, keep replaying things from the past and not necessarily like, right. So that's their energy, but say this is you. Maybe you do feel like you have to stand alone right now. Okay. Um, because of the directions that you're going, because of the advice that I'm giving you, I feel that it's going to be necessary to see the beauty in your life right now and to, um, allow other people to help you. The six, like this is the five of pentacles, but the six of pentacles talks about um, receive, giving and receiving. Um, the rose quartz oracle message that you have is I allow love and I open my heart to attention and affection from my romantic partner. However, I'm feeling like that is saying that um, you, have to, you have to be comfortable in your now with your love life, with your energies, like your heart space has to be open and... Um, but you can have, there's a balance of giving and receiving love, power, etc. So hold your crown in place, queen of swords. However, keep your heart space open to what could be. And, um, you know, what is now the, the cups that you still have, the cups that this guy still has is still there. So, um, just appreciate where you are. I feel like in your love life, things might be moving slow. Um, maybe money is moving slow because I'm seeing the pinnacles. Maybe someone wants to come in with some money. And that is the reason why I'm saying to keep your energies open to giving and receiving because for one, it's energy. What you give is what you get. So be in check of your own emotions because there is maybe at the last minute, someone that is going to come in or yeah i mean this is a person not the universe so there is going to be some um gifts given um some pinnacles given and it may be slow however still just be happy with where you are uh that one um <clears throat> oracle said uh i am blessed i am grateful for the blessings in my life be grateful for the blessings that you have currently and allow the blessings that are coming in to um, make its way there. <clears throat> okay, so for September, October, November, December. Perfect. So for September, I'm seeing the money, sis. The money, my guy. Okay, the money's here. Hello, the blessings are here. The stable financial, maybe the business ventures that you had started earlier, you're not, you haven't seen the victories of. Here's the victories. Here's the victories. Here is the victories. You planted the seeds and now it's grown. Allow the growth. Uh, you know, if you come back to watch this in between the year, say to yourself right now, when you're watching January, when you're going through March and February and April, say to yourself, my blessings are coming. Okay. They have to grow. I can plant seeds, but I can't eat the fruit the same day that I planted them. Allow it to grow. I'm seeing that. Yes, there has been small opportunities, right? The small opportunities, the page of Pentacles is now the King of Pentacles. Allow time for the sun to you know, and, and maybe even the universe and, you know, the, the natural processes of life to grow the um, seeds that you've already planted. OK, I see that you may have, like I said earlier, you may have been you may be a jack of information. Information may be what you sell. Um, 
Yeah. And, you know, I see that you're focused here. Maybe all of this is letting you know, like, um, my inspirations do come true. Okay? Like, I feel like with this energy, you came from this energy to this energy. And now you know, like, I can do this. I can do this. I can be victorious. Um, yes, I see that you took some inspiration here. And you... Went out to war. This person is coming back from a victory. And now they're being seen. They're being recognized. I see that you're being recognized for information that you offer. Okay. I see that you are taking up opportunities. You're looking at how can I make more of this? How can I make the most of this energy right now? And like I said, I feel like information is definitely going to be a factor here. I'm seeing that... There's definitely growth, personal growth. Allow yourself to be, you know, planted. Allow yourself to have had been planted. Um, and hold space for those moments where you are a seed. I'm seeing wands, pinnacles, and swords. And I don't have any cups here. But um, I do. I feel like the seasons... It takes seasons, changes in the seasons, allow the changes that are happening, sorry, allow the changes that are happening in your life to um, allow yourself to hold space for them, sorry, allow yourself to hold space for the changes that happen in life, for the seasons of life, and it does look like whatever you're doing, you are able, you are now making money from it. For sure, you've received inspiration and you are now able to enjoy the joy of your labor. So, congratulations. Great. That is amazing. I'm so happy for you. Okay. This um, crystal oracle, it's calcopiite, copyright, to love, whatever. I'm not going to say it right. It is what it is. Um, but it is a type of pyrite stone now that I'm noticing. I can see that. Wow. It says, I am healthy, strong, thanks to my physical or thanks to physical movement and exercise outdoors. Support our physical strength training, increase time in the sunlight um, for a healthy body, amplify physical movement to increase good health. So I also feel like this person is outside. These people are active. These people are actively doing something, right? And then you have the sun here. So I feel like being outside, um, maybe that will help you bring in finances. Maybe that is helping you. That's an inspiration that you're giving, being given for growth in what you're doing. Okay. Um, I feel like I am healthy and strong thanks to my movement and exercise outdoors. So maybe you are going to even be called to make certain moves that will have you meeting new people uh because there's a bunch of people here um have you meeting new people experiencing new things and may even help with physical strength training so this is going to be necessary uh to, it says increase time in sunlight for a healthy body so that is something that um you should you know, take into consideration when, um, you know, I'm not sure if we're going to be in quarantine. I'm not sure if that means that we're going to be out, but, um, whatever you can do to be in the sun and increase your physical strength training and amplify physical movement, get up and dance, whichever one it is that you're interested in. Um, but I am seeing that that's going to be something beneficial in the month of October or September, excuse me. Okay, so in October, I see that you are charging forward, maybe with those ideas that you had, maybe even blindly towards what it is that has already been working for you. Um, you might even be doing some inner child work, some inner healing, where you are focused on the, or following your true north and you don't know. You may there may be some unknown things here, but you're still moving forward. Okay, so good for you. Like I said, there may be some fears um, that have that are deep within you, um, 
and or you may just intuitively be moving, making moves, and you can't really, you don't know where you're heading um, or what the outcome is, but you have learned to trust spirit. You have learned to use your intuition um, and you have already learned so many lessons that allow you to be a healthy adult or a healthy decision maker that you um, have completed cycles. Hello. And the universe is now giving to you. Okay. And that's what I really feel. Let's see if I can get some confirmations by some. <clears throat> I am divinely protected. So I feel like you already know that. I am confident and courageous. So yes, I feel like you are moving uh, forward. You're charging for it. This, um, this chariot card charges for it with confidence. You know, this very courageous, very courageous. Like there's no doubt in his mind where he's going intuitively is what your case is. Okay. I am coming for you. The blessings, the true north. The, the, the visualizations that you've already been visualizing. You're in love with that person and you're ready. You're on your way. You're at the right place at the right time with the right people. So you're trusting your intuition to say, when it's time to move, I'm moving. You know, let your personality shine. Maybe there's an idea that has you in the spotlight because this uh, chariot is in the spotlight. This person is being given, given something and receiving attention. So you are in the spotlight and you're might even be seeking an approval of your situation around that time so you go girl or boy or guy or in between I don't know. you got this all right so this is november you made your mind up you got your mind made up you are enlightened you're no longer tied uh, upside down, uh, kind of dangling in suspense. You are moving, okay? Moving towards union. Maybe you already know this person. Maybe you have made up your mind that the previous relationships were not working for you. And um, maybe there's an opportunity for an emotional connection here. Maybe healing between two people, um, a completion of a family. And you have decided that even if it does take time uh, or to allow your emotions to balance, maybe you needed to balance your emotions, but it does look like your mindset is in a place where you're ready to, um, like, you know, maybe you even know, say you're a man and you know, you've experienced this person, that person and a whole bunch of other people. Maybe you're like, you know what? I know who I want. I know who I want, okay? Um, you've journeyed, okay? There's the sun coming up. So maybe you've even experienced some hardship with this person, like I mentioned. Maybe there's some healing that it has and needs to take place within this connection. But I do see that this person has decided that their emotional satisfaction, their emotional and family completion is with this person. So say you are being chosen, this is you being chosen, okay? Someone is waking up to the light. You see there's light here, light here, and in the distance. So maybe there is going to be a time where this is taking place right now, and or there's a path up until this point. Because there's another path here. Let's see. Let's get some confirmation here. Is this current or is this happening right now? In November for pile two. Is this current or is this happening right now for pile two? Or is this or is this in the distance or is this happening right now? I just saw that. But I didn't see it. I saw that it stopped. I didn't see what it said though. Anything? Pile two for November 2021. Leap of faith. I am divinely protected. I am divinely guided. Come on, anything? November 2021. I want to move on from this. Exactly. Okay. So maybe this is someone coming into the understanding that, hey, maybe this connection is divinely protected. Maybe this connection is divinely, you know, here in my life. I want to move on from whatever it is that had me in the reverse or this is the reverse. Whatever had me looking for different perspectives, checking out 
other options, etc. I'm now like this. I want to move on from this. I want, there's a declaration here. I want to move on from this. And this is what they're looking forward to with you. Maybe you are looking forward to this with uh, someone else, you know, with your partner in mind or something or your new partner, whoever you've had your eyes on and vice versa. And maybe there is um, a balanced, healthy, maybe divine orchestration that you want to go about it or spirit is saying, hey, we still need to work on this. Okay, but it does look like the there's some clarity here about where this d connection is going. So, congratulations. I, I heard marriage, marriage, marriage. That's all I heard. Marriage, marriage. So, maybe there's clarity on that before this time next year, marriage. I'm going to marry this person. I know I'm going to marry this person. I just saw 50 Okay, okay, let me tell you, because I know what five means. Five means change. Zero means like um, the beginning. So I feel like there is a declaration here that someone wants a new beginning with you. They want to change. They have decided that they are, and it's mirrored. So maybe this is a twin flame if you believe in that. <laughs> um, but I feel, and I say it that way because in pile one, I let you guys know that I may be a little jaded, but I also believe that uh, the twin flame connection is a very codependent kind of um, dialogue narrative. And I just think that none of us should be seeking to complete ourselves. But I feel like um, I am aware in my life of my quote unquote twin flame. So to say that I don't absolutely believe in it at this point, because I've had some awakenings that it would be uh, misleading because I guess there is some type of, um wow, 5115 just showed up. And that talks about growth because we were just at 50, 50 oh, oh, 5, 5115 is growth. So, you know, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to influence you guys to believe or not believe. I'm just saying, if you don't believe, I understand why. But there does look like there is some type of divine orchestration going on in a love connection that you have going on um, in the year of 2021. And that in November is going to be a highlighted moment, whether that's you feeling that they have had that clarity of moments. Wow, 5151. Whoa. And it hasn't allowed me to move. Like I've like I've seen this. Like, it's like, see this, see this in the moment of 50s. Like, wow, that's a lot. So let's move forward. Um, maybe this is my pile. I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about December. Let's get on right to it. So um, the month of December, yeah. A king of wands, whether that's you or someone else, is very, so, very much so focused on the queen uh, or the, the empress. And like we said, so maybe there's some growth. Maybe there's some awakening that they've experienced, like your emotional, spiritual partner, um, if that's something you subscribe to. Maybe there's something that they've um, experienced and that has grown them up, okay? But I want the feminine here to see you are coming out as the empress, okay? So allow yourself to know that you are the queen in this connection. You are to be earned, Let's put it this way, because I in my head, I knew he needed to be looking at her. This person is analyzing you, deciding, how do I go about this? Juggling ideas. How do I approach? How do I send that message? What do I say? What do I say? Maybe they've decided to sit and play it calm and or to come across calm and manifest and take action in that way to bring forth this new um, connection. But I feel like maybe there are some people in between this connection or some, like this person's like, whatever it takes to get from here to here, I'm doing, I'm doing it. Like it literally is this person coming through for a new beginning with the Empress. So, that's the energy I see. Um, if you are the empress, I am seeing that anything that, I mean, maybe you're even, 
Maybe you're getting pregnant. Why do I say that? Because uh, this connection doesn't feel one-sided, okay? This connection feels like you have a, a leg in it as well. I've seen that you may have been disappointed earlier this year in 2021 because of the movement of it or the lack thereof. And I'm seeing like this person, maybe you in your head are, you're manifesting them as well. You're manifesting a new beginning. You're moving, you're aloof and or in your power while you're doing it, but you want this new beginning as well. I do feel like if you already have kids and or are fertile, this is definitely, maybe this person is coming in with messages like, look, I want you to have my baby. I want you to have my baby, baby girl. Okay? Like, I want a family. I want that 10 of cups that we just saw in November. I want all of that. Like, that's what it's feeling like. That's what I feel. This person is saying, maybe that's what's coming in is the, um, the information of surety. Maybe that's what the king of wands is doing he's like listen he playing it cute he looking good but he coming in he's like look this how i look this how you look and i'm looking at you like i want this i've made up my mind i've traveled seas i've crossed all the paths that there are but i want what i want and maybe this is them telling you i want you to be the mother of my kids i want this new beginning with you you know um maybe you're gonna see this in a message maybe they're gonna call you okay maybe they're watching on social media and they're manifesting connect or communication and connection and they're saying hey this is what i want for you i'm seeing that you are um handling different projects well you are um maybe even like i said creating things with your hands because she has this in her hands and she's kind of showing and displaying it she has all of this well this is like feminine so maybe it's um you're in your feminine power of course of course it's the empress but you're also going with the flow and you know you're saying like and the uh two of pentacles goes with the flow as well and balances things and juggles many things maybe you, like i said you're already a mom and you look damn good and this king of wands is like look I don't want you to be single. I don't want you to be single. I ain't got time for that. So I'm coming in swift. You know, there's going to be some communication about some movement relationship wise for sure. Um, so before we wrap it up, I do have a message here. It says, I am grateful for my vital life force or the, the vital. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that my vital life force provides me with the energy and motivation to live life to the fullest improve energies energy level and increase life force maintain focus increase feelings of self-empowerment amplify courage and uh confidence we've seen courage and confidence throughout this um this read so i'm definitely going to have it on the title and i'm also going to say that this um empress is um having feelings of self-empowerment okay with the magician you're powerful so you need should keep the mental state of being a powerful individual um having courage and um confidence okay maintain focus like i said this person really is sitting on her throne she's not being like she's being looked at she's not necessarily being you know um in someone's face so i feel like if you are in a twin flame if you will soulmate connection i feel like um keep standing your power stand be continue to be self-empowered and allow your person to come to you so that is going to be that for pile two tell me what you think in the comments and uh go ahead and subscribe if you feel called to and i will look at or i will see you in the next read Bye.